Good afternoon, friends. This is Daniel Rizek, and today I'm going to show you some great, uh, outstanding features of Google Drive for administrators and office professionals. Uh, a couple things I think that you're just really going to love. Um, one of them being in Google Docs, the other one being in Google Forms. Um, and so what you see here in front of you is you see a planning agenda. Uh, and this is something, you know, obviously a lot of teams would use uh, when they're planning something. And it's collaborative. But one thing we've noticed is that if you use the table of contents feature, um, you don't need to create more agendas for each week. You can just create one running agenda for weeks and weeks and weeks. And then when you add the table of contents, if you want to go down, you can just go to week one. Uh, you can click on the link to go to week two and week three. And if you skip week three, that's fine. Um, and it's really efficient and quick and uh, not too hard to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through how to do this. So I've created a sample agenda over here. And uh, like most agenda type things, um, it's going to be a, uh, a portfolio, I'm sorry, an outline uh, type of agenda. So I'm going to go and just start with you know, this right here. The only thing about the table of contents is they really want you to use this paragraph style, the heading one. Um, apply heading one to the beginning of your paragraph. So let's do that and we're going to start with a uh, weekly uh, agenda. And I'm just going to put stuff in here for now because I don't have any content. And you see kind of how this goes. Um, that's great. All right, so that'll get, that'll get me uh, week one. Uh, but now what I want to do is insert my table of contents. I'm going to go down here, and you see each week now, as I copy the agenda, it will add to it. So I'm going to go ahead, and let's say week two uh, comes up. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go down and copy week two. So we'll call this week two agenda. And let's go ahead and update that week two agenda. All right, so the week three comes by, and we want to go ahead and add week three's agenda on there. It's very easy to do. We can just copy. And again, all I'm using is Command C to copy and paste, and then updating the table of contents. Uh, and you can title these anything you want to, really. Uh, but as things go down and keep going, um, Google will remember and update things as, uh, as you go. And it'll just be a really nice, uh, and you can title this, of course. You can call this uh, uh, you know, Agenda Archives. So this is really how to do a, um, a table of contents and a great way to do a sample agendas uh, that are ongoing. Just remember that this heading um, should be paragraph style, heading one, apply heading one. That's the only thing you, you want to remember about that. Um, all right, so that's my first favorite thing about Google Drive for administrators. My second thing is using forms. And uh, here's a great way to use a form to enroll new students. Now, I know some, uh, you know some schools are doing this, which is great. You get a new student, whoever's the first point of contact, maybe that's a secretary or somebody says, hey, you know, there's a new student, let's put their name in, uh, and let's put in their, which school they're going to. This was for a district that had three separate schools, uh, what the grade is, what the start date will be, and then if they have a like a school ID, you would put that in there. Now, ultimately, that's one thing, and that would go into a uh, a big spreadsheet. However, there's um, a a thing you can add to spreadsheets called Form Mule, and Form Mule allows basically emails to be sent upon submission of a, of a Google uh, form. So the minute a person submits this form, individual people get mail emailed um, when this form goes out. So there doesn't have to be another separate email that somebody has to do. It happens automatically. 
Uh, and that is really, really helpful because a lot of people have to act on this when there's new students and put in their names into certain systems and to add their name to Google and stuff like that. Um, and so this is another efficiency that's really, really helpful. Uh, so I just showed you two great things. This is um, planning agendas with table of contents and Google Forms. I'm not, I didn't get deep into using Form Mule. That's something you can look in uh, on your own. But I would definitely uh, suggest you know, creating uh, Google Forms and then attaching um, Form Mule to them because it's, uh, it's fantastic. So there you go. Good luck.